Hi, I'm Ward Lowe, and I'm here with Daniel Gonzalez, who's the Director of Legislative Affairs for the Texas Association of Realtors. And Daniel, with the recent Texas legislature starting again a couple days ago, we thought we'd bring you in and ask you a few questions about the upcoming session or, or the session that's underway. Sure. What are the, the big issues that the legislature will be tackling this session? Well, there's quite a few of them that they'll be tackling uh, this session. You have to remember, Ward, that the only reason the legislature comes in town is to do one thing and one thing only, and that's to pass a budget. So the budget is obviously going to be the number one priority for them. Uh, the good news is, uh, unlike last session, they actually have a budget surplus of $8.8 .8 billion this year. So that's good. So they don't have to, uh, they're not going to be in this wild frenzy to cut uh, the budget. But uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, discussion on how they spend that money, if they spend that money at all. The other issues they're going to be talking about are some long-term range issues like transportation and water. Uh, those are going to be uh, very high profile th this this session. Water, obviously, with the drought that has just not affected you know the Central Texas area, but many parts of Texas, you know, it really has affected many parts of Texas. So they're really going to want to do something uh, on on future water infrastructure as well as transportation infrastructure. So those really are the big three issues that they'll be uh, looking at this session. Now, something that uh, people may or may not realize is that there is a lawsuit hanging over this session uh, in regards to school finance. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, great question. There, there is a lawsuit right now. I think there's over four or five hundred uh, school districts that have filed suit against the state, and uh, they are uh, there. There are a number of, of reasons why they have filed suit, but mainly uh, it's all about money uh, per student funding. And the last time we went through this was six years ago, uh, actually seven years ago in 2005, leading into a 2006 uh, special session. So you, there's a lot of talk on, on education and more money for education, but many members of the legislature and, and really the top three leaders, the governor, the lieutenant governor, and the speaker have talked about kind of holding back some of that money one, only until the, the, the district court uh, uh, issues their ruling. And once the Supreme Court has a final ruling, but that probably won't happen until later on this year, it could even happen in early of 2014. So uh, you'll probably see a special uh, session late this year or the spring of 2014. And now all of this uh, is just a big picture about the entire legislature. Now, how does this affect the um, issues that the Texas Association of Realtors will be promoting uh, over at the Capitol? Sure. Great question. Again, you know, we, we had a great session last session in, in, in 2011. We, we did a lot for the association, a lot for the industry dealing with the Real Estate Commission as well as the Deceptive Trade Practices Act, did some tort reform. The good news is we did all of that last session. There doesn't need to be any tweaking this uh, next session in 2013, so that is good news. Uh, but as an association, we do know that if, we're, if we want to continue to have the Texas that we know today to be better tomorrow, we need to start ensuring that there is some infrastructure uh, money that is put, there's money put into the infrastructure uh, of Texas, like water and transportation. So that's where really we're gonna concentrate our efforts, you know, th this session, and obviously when the school finance special session comes along, when you're when you're talking about a special session, you're always talking about more money. So we're really kind of gearing up for whenever that is going to happen again, late 2013, and in going into the spring of 2014. Do, do you think there'll be one special session will be enough, or do you think there'll be a couple? I am trying to use uh, uh, the word uh, in, in a singular uh, phase, but uh, un unfortunately, it's going to be plural. I think there will be special sessions yes okay thank you daniel and uh for anyone interested this is the full public policy statements of the texas association of realtors you can see the uh, link on the screen to download it you can also find it at texasrealtors.com thanks a lot daniel thank you